One of the glorious moments, most glorious moments of the Calendi Maggio Festival is the election of Lady Spring, Madonna Primavera, who will reign over the festival. But the day before she's chosen, everything will begin with the consignment of the keys of the city to the Mastro del Campo. There he is, the Maestro del Campo, the master of the field, thus symbolizing that for four days the city belongs to Calendi Maggio. To the master of the field, the keys will be given by the mayor, and there she is, the mayor of Assisi in white on the right, Stefania. And Stefania is observing with great pride the trumpeters of Assisi as they blare out the hymn of Assisi. They are in red and blue, the colors of Assisi, thus giving us the colors of Calendimaggio, blue for upper Assisi, red for lower. And Madonna Primavera will be from upper or lower, depending on the games. A series of games will take place the next day. And the day of the election of Madonna Primavera, Lady Spring, will start in splendor and grande passione, as will every day of the Calendi Maggio Festival. And this year... For every day of the festivities, Sotto, la magnifica parte di Sotto, will enter the main square first, as they lost last year.
won last year. So out of courtesy, the losing team came in first. So cool. Be interesting to see who's going to be the winning team this year. The games will soon start for the election of Lady Spring. Viva Sopra. Sopra, one of our um, Tetsiere is represented by this symbol, Porta Moyano, is one of the medieval gates. And these, his symbols here, are San Rufino, because it said he was drowned when a rock was thrown around him, he was thrown in the river in the third century AD, after a grisly series of tortures which were unsuccessful. And then coming down from San Rufino, which is our base, are uh, personages of La Nobilissima Parte de Sopra, coming with great dignity. More lovely personages from La, look at the little one, La Nobilissima Parte de Sopra. The passion is felt very young. Young, young, young. Sometimes you'll even see infants carried in the arms of mothers and fathers in uh, the corte or the processions into the main square. This is the Corteo de Sopra. And we have another of the flags of Sopra, another tertiary of Sopra. Which is at the very, very eastern end of town, leading out not far from San Rufino, leading out into the countryside. Beautiful garlands. There's a little one in the arms of Mama. are singing as this gentleman recites a tribute to spring. New life, fecundity, fertility, new life being born, blossoms bursting, the earth giving forth fruits, primavera, primavera, springtime. What great 
And after the magnificent entrance of both La Magnifica Parte di Sotto e La Nobilissima Parte di Sopra into the main square on the day of the election of Lady Spring, the crossbowers will aim for a target. This is a crossbower of Upper Assisi. Uh, you can see that he's in blue. And there are five crossbowers. Each has an armband around his upper arm. And under the armband is the name of a damigella. And the crossbower who hits closest to the target will pull off his armband and the name of the damigella will be announced and she is Lady Spring. So here is uh, one of our crossbowers about to shoot. And that was quite a good shot, but of course there are 10 crossbowers aiming for that target. Five of upper and five of lower Assisi. So after the crossbow contest is La Corsa delle Tregge. The Tregge is a simple kind of sled used in the countryside in the Middle Ages. And even in the 1970s when we moved here, we found a Tregge out behind our farmhouse. The sleds were used to bring in the wheat from the fields, the bales of hay and so forth, even the firewood, because to have a cart, one had to pay a wheelwright to make the wheels of the cart. So a primary tool for bringing crops in from the field was the treja. So now is the race of the treja red for sotto, blue for sopra. And this is the full team of those who pull the rope in the tug of war for La Parte di Sopra. Not all of these guys are going to be pulling on that particular day. Uh, about five of them will pull. And they will be pulling their rope in their blue shirts. And of course, Soto also will be pulling. And the two teams will be competing.
Well, as you can tell, la passione è grande. Passion is great among the older people, among the younger people. Well, Soto this year won the Tiro delle Trege, the pulling of the farm carts, and the Tiro alla Fune, uh, the tug of war. Now we're going to find out who of the crossbowers was closest to hitting the center of the target. That crossbower, if of Lower Assisi, has a name on his armband of a young damsel of Lower Assisi. Our crossbowers of Upper Assisi competed with the crossbowers of Lower Assisi. Let's hear the announcement of the young damsel who will be the queen of the feast, La Regina della Festa, Madonna Primavera, Lady Spring. Pascolini Davide a motivo dell'abbinamento prima effettuato They're announcing who will be Lady Spring Madonna Primavera We're soon find out who's Madonna Primavera e Regina della festa di Calendifaggio, Monna Anna Chiara Sarmatano. So Madonna Primavera is from Sotto, young Anna Chiara, one of the lovely young girls that you see right here. And thus, Madonna Primavera has been chosen to reign over the splendid Calendimaggio Festival. More to come in the next couple days.